switch this. Oh, so Silver X is doing Sheik! We haven't had anybody go Sheik on Fro Fridays yet. So. That, that's the sign of somebody be Well, true, you did. I don't, I don't count anything you do, Shell. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, nice use of the needles there. Fair to F tilt. Nice. Oh, trying to use the uh, subtle explosion of the up B there to get some space, but Telestro is able to narrow this. Telestro is no stranger to winning big on Fro Fridays. Finished third place last week. I'll try to get the landing laser leaf, razor leaf to work. Nice strain there from Telestrio. Silver Rats able to. I'm going sheep now only. <laughs> All right. Nice back here from Telestrio. Ooh, nice patience there, staying in shield even with the down air bearing down on Silver Rats. Oh. Nice dash grab there from Telestrio, setting up a ledge trap now. See, uh, making it very difficult for Silver Rats to recover. Silver X makes it back though. Let's make sure nobody's getting DQ'd up here. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Nice. Oh, good jabs there by Silver X. Looking to try and close the gap. Nice grab. I wish I was more familiar with more of Sheik's kill confirms besides like needles to bouncing fish. I also don't know if like the needles need to be angled when jumped too. I don't think they do, right? Nice nair shield pressure there from Telestrio. Down throw nair. Uppy, the strain is very much going Telestrio's way. Putting on some extra credit. Nice needles there to protect return to stage. It's a setting on the air, so I figured. Okay. Oh, man, Telestra with the elevator there. And now, things are quickly getting away from Silver X. Down throw. Let's throw down throw up here. But doesn't get it. I don't, I don't know if Silver X was prepared for that, either. <laughs> the sheet's got drip, but might need to go back to the drawing board. Just like that, guys. Oh, nice use of the uppy there to just get into Telestra's face. Uh oh. Up area ladders here, but Silver X is able to drift with uh, sheets. Pretty good. Um, air drift. Oh, nice. He's getting in these razors. Oh, fuck. I forget how light Sheik is. And Telestrio taking game one. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay, that that's that's the stock. Alright. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh, so right now, it was like Saiyan Ghost eliminated Robot Red. Red, I keep not being able to put you on stream. I feel sad, but thank you for the loser's run, bud. Um, right into the buzzsaw that is Saiyan Ghost Mega Man is a pain. So right now, Saiyan Ghost and Fruit Smasher are taking on one another. It's a ZSS Mega Man matchup, which would be really interesting. And we also have Explosive Oaks and Ice on deck. Let's see how... I, I expected to see that match, but I didn't expect to see it in Losers. I'll put it that way. So... Loser of Z, loser of Y. Z and Y, okay. That's why you play Fox. <laughs> So I think we'll go, we'll do Yay and Muffin first in top eight. And top eight's still best at three. It's everything after top eight that's, uh, or it's not everything after top eight. It's just um, the last four matches of the bracket that are best um, out of five. Let me just make sure I actually set that right. Okay. 
this should be best at three, and it is. All right, game two, and Silver X is going back to the main of Zelda. And we're going to uh, <clears throat> Smashville. I feel like Silver X's goal here is to try and slow it down more against Telestrio. Best of five from the winners, and then grand finals is. Start changes. Best of five. Oh, nice shield there by... Oh, shit, Telestro! Is they able to recover? Oh, man. This SD might be incredibly fortuitous for Silver Axe. <laughs> Ew, for Game Watch. All right, we'll see how Silver Axe plays with this lead right now. Telestro is going to be begging to get in, and it's going to be Silver Axe's job in order to try to keep him out. Nice jab lock. Looking for the explosion. Nice use of Nair's love there. But Telestra was able to get in with the D tilt. Squirrel's movement's so insane, it's hard for me to pick up. You'll play Ryu? Okay, Shadow Wolf. Nice up tilt there. Very defensive one, but oh man, Telestra managed to land behind Silver X. Nice falling fair there from Telestro, working in his favor. Trying to keep Silver Axe on that half of the stage, but Silver Axe managed to get behind him. Using teleport to get some space, maybe a ledge trap situation, but Telestro just falls way back. Oh, nice defensive movement there from Silver Axe. Using Nero's love. And Silver Axe has gotten really. Oh, the, the. The Jesus kick, I guess you could put it. The Afro kick. I don't know what I call that. It's ridiculous. Nice shield there by Telestro. Oh, man! On the up smash from Telestro, winning out in that close quarter situation. But right now, the lead's still firmly in Silver X's grasp. Oh, man. Oh, down smash! And that's it! There goes Telestro's second stock. Silver X needs to play this slowly, calmly, and defensively in order to take the win and move on to game three. That was an interesting trade. Oh, nice landing fair from Telestro. Isn't able to get much more out of it. Oh, the high recovery with the um, teleport. Near uh, Din's wind. Din's wind. I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. What the hell happened in that game? Doesn't matter. You take those. <laughs> and uh, Silver X is going to take game two. Early, oh, early vine cancel? Oh, okay. I, I wasn't paying attention to where the vine was pay, like tethering to. So what's funny is there's going to be a Pokemon trainer no matter what waiting in the path of whoever wins this. So it's either going to be a trainer mirror match between Telestrio and Sloth, or Silver X has to play another trainer. For I promise he thought he missed the up as IP. So just oh, man. Wait, what if I pick up Balmar? Shit, C Sharp. That would fit your, like, criteria of, like, kind of strange characters that aren't meta. <laughs> He's a sorry. <laughs> I mean. Alright, let's see what these two are talking about, if they are talking in chat. Or not. Yeah, they're just talking separately. Uh, let's see here. So, Fruit Smasher, Insane Ghost, Explosive Oats, and Ice on Deck are currently all playing. I'm cringing. <laughs> Dude, Telestri, I didn't know how the fuck to call that. I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Game three. Tied up. Switch the Chirons one more time. Alright. Starting things off. Here on Small Battlefield for Game 3. Love to see it. Nice up tilt to Nair there. Nice use of Nair's love to bat away the aggression from Telestro. Slow, slow playing. It probably is going, okay, 
I need to not press so many goddamn buttons and not SD this time. Alright, Silverhatch is jumping a lot. A very strange opening salvo from these two. Maybe they just know each other so well from being doubles partners. Down throw does not get the gimp there with the up B. I think you have to, I, you have to DI in for that to work. Oh, nice. See oh, wow. Parry on the teleport. Only for a punish there. Mashing time, <laughs> says Kurt. <laughs> oh. Nice. Anticipated the teleport. Gone with Razor Leaf to up B. Wow. That was a very low night. I don't know where that was, night was going. Nice patience. Oh, it did not get the elevator! Oh, he thought maybe he wasn't going to get it. There is the elevator. Silver X making use of probably one of Zelda's best moves, to be honest with you. Nice up the shield from Telestro. Does not get the kill, though. Oh man, he went for F Smash and instead eats a a Jesus kick. So please, someone picked up health. <laughs> nice Nair is love there from Silverhearts. Oh, he caught him! Does not get the gimp though. Nice down throw, does not get the Nair from it. Another throw, good good move from Telestrio. Back air fair. Does not oh gets the Nair here. Bouncing Silverhearts more and more. Shields through the teleport. It's a grab, but no follow-up. Good DI from Silver Rice to avoid that follow-up. Oh, the... Oh, man. Almost got that. That would have been the stock, possibly, for Telestra if Silver Rice had nailed that. Bear, not the sweet spot. Almost get eating an up-air ladder. So I feel like Silver Rice has gone to... Oh, there we go. There's a sweet spot. Has gone to using teleport a lot in order to avoid becoming prey to Telestra's up-air strings. There. Razor Leaf avoids it. Avoids Knight. Oh, just hit by Knight! I thought he was going to stay still in shield. I even said he avoided the Knight, and he didn't. Nice up B from Ledge. Good grab. Telestro. Feel himself. Getting a couple Razor Leafs in. Oh! The short teleport! Almost staying the snipe with Din's fire. Back here because he, uh, Silver X didn't snap to Ledge. Oh, uh, hi. Wow. These two definitely know each other very well. That was an interesting three-point shot. Nice shield, the F-Smash. This is tense. N there we go. Telestro taking that second stock. And Silver is now down to his last stock here. And Losers, uh-oh, jab. Not enough to kill, though. Shaluzi is going to pick up Olimar. Nah. You're too good with Kirby. Nice. That was a bad teleport, and Telestro is making him pay for it. Oh, that one wasn't. <gasps> Got the snipe, but it actually propelled Telestro up. Telestro gets the drop down up at ledge that Ivysaur loves. Nice grab, yeah, grab down throw, does not get the follow up. Oh, Celestro, Silver X dropped the shield. Oh man, there was almost that was almost a spike. Uh oh. Last stock situation. <laughs> Silver Edge patiently. Oh. Alright, that spaghetti just turned out that way. It was tasty. Uh oh. Nice fire there from Telestra, who's clearly in the lead. Oh, Vidrocker, thank you for the follow, bud. Vidrocker will be playing loser side, uh, top eight on stream in a little while. Shit, the Flare Blitz! And Telestro's done it in the most, like, ridiculously raw way possible. Those two are gonna have a laugh about that afterwards. <laughs>